Okay, here we are. These are the supplies we're gonna need for the tambourine. We're gonna need a paper plate, scissors, some bells, some kind of twine or yarn, crayons, and either a, and a hole puncher. I don't have a single hole puncher, so I'm gonna use a three hole puncher. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, step one, have your kids color the backside of the paper plates only. You can use crayons, you can use markers, paint, whatever you wanna do. Once they're done decorating, that's the end of step one, and we'll go to the next step. Have fun. Okay, step two is to fold your paper plate completely in half like shown. Audrey did a really good job of coloring this. So then, next, we're gonna go ahead and punch some holes in it. Okay, so here we are putting holes into the plate. So you can really put as many as you want. I went ahead and did three on one side, one in the middle, and I'm probably gonna do another three on that side. Okay, now we have all the hole punches done on her plate. But next, you take your twine and you cut it into little strips like this, long enough that you can thread the, thread the jingle bell and tie it onto the paper plate. So first, okay, thread one through here. Okay, double knot it. So an adult will do all the cutting of the thread unless you're old enough to do that and you have talked to your parents. But kids can do most of the rest. So this is what the finished product looks like. He already lost one of his bells, but this is gives you a gist of what it looks like when you're all done tying and putting everything on. And you got a nice little shaker. This is what my kids think about their shakers. Go ahead. Fun. Now I can send them outside to bless the world with all the sound, huh? <laughs>